There are two specific areas that we're looking at in Syngenta within the food security agenda. One is very much coming at it from a Africa, Asia perspective, looking at the smallholder farmers. So trying to get the smallholder farmers, especially the pre-commercial smallholder farmers that have less access to market and input into being more commercial so that they have higher productivity, higher yields, uh, better access to information, better access to finance, and then hopefully better profitability by being linked into market and meeting consumer needs and, and retailer demands. Second aspect that we're looking at is more around the environmental sustainability. We're getting a lot of requests from farmers and from the market for certification and standards, especially from the North and South America and even from Europe. So whether it's the water footprint or a carbon footprint or the life cycle analysis. And so we are trying to see if we can create a holistic framework of looking at the environmental impacts of agriculture on the farm, but also probably further on in the value chain, especially around food and waste. Um, and then trying to find the solutions and the agronomy protocols and the right in input uh, protocols to kind of mitigate those risks, but also looking at it from an opportunity perspective. I mean, whether carbon credits come up, whether farmers can actually get a lot of more financial benefit from being more environmentally sustainable. And one of the big a aspects of looking at the environmental agenda is to figure out what you're trying to measure and hence what, what you're trying to get the efficiency around. And a lot of times the certification tends to be around don't have these certain inputs going into the system where we're trying to say, well, what are the outcomes and the impacts that you want to be uh, either you know, make maximizing or, or minimizing as the case might be. So for us, a lot of that work comes down to actually saying, are there multi-stakeholder initiatives that you can be part of to change the entire industry? Are there certain levels of certification and measurements that we want to take forward? But also then, what are the responses from a company perspective that we want? And it ranges. Some of it is just good agronomy practice. So what do you do around soil management? What do you do around water management? Do you look at conservation, no-till agriculture? Do you look at crop rotation, intercropping, uh, growing more from less just so that you have biodiversity? protection but then you could have technology so seeds that are drought resistant or, or or at least perform better in, in uh, water stressed areas or even in flooded areas so what can you do around actually the genetic uh, of the of the crop and it doesn't need to be GM which is what everyone tends to do we're looking at hybrid uh, corn in uh, in the US now which has uh, a drought tolerance uh, traits built into it